Hello everybody, this is your favorite YouTuber, your favorite camp counselor, your favorite sensei, teacher, your favorite all-around dude, Mr. Escobar, here with another video. I haven't done one since I came back from Hawaii, you know, I'm sorry, been a little busy. Been, uh, been doing a lot of crazy things around here, so, um, today is Wednesday, it's around like 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and, um, I decided to, uh, have a little change in, um, scenery here. I'm at the beach. One of my favorite beach in the world, Redondo Beach. Now I've done a video um, of this nature about two years ago, and a lot. Last time I did a video when I came over here, but obviously I came here multiple times after that. I was talking about sadness and stuff like that, and um, I wasn't feeling good that particular day. But this video is not about sadness or anything. This video is about enjoying life, being happy, being grateful. I was truly grateful that I went to Hawaii and I'm truly here and grateful that I live in the best city in the world, Los Angeles, and one of my favorite beaches in the world. So um, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten nothing all day. <laughs> Last time I ate was yesterday morning. And um, I, I want to eat some seafood. And, uh, the best seafood in the world, in my head at least, is right next to the sea, right? So I, I know something's wrong with me. Okay, let's go get something to eat. Let's go right now. All right, sorry about that. I know that intro was terrible, but I've been done one in about two weeks, okay? So, not ever since uh, when I got back from Honolulu. Check this out. Look at that. It's, uh, yeah, it's five. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to see this. I wanted to share this with you. You know, this beach means truly means a lot to me, just like all the other beaches, like, San Pedro, Long Beach, Huntington Beach, Seal Beach, they all mean a lot to me. But this one is is probably one of my favorites because um, I think I told the story before on the uh, uh, Rodano Beach Pier. I had many memories, you know, growing up four, five, six years old, coming like at least four to five times a year. My parents used to take me here quite a bit. They loved, they loved it here. Um, but look at this, you know, it's funny because I have my Levi's on. See that? Uh, <laughs> I changed into my Levi's. I was wearing shorts all day. But look at that. And to think, I just only live like maybe or work and live like 20 minutes away. Look at that. It's a beautiful day. Okay, I just finished my 5.5 miles. So the plan is to get to the pier get to that restaurant to eat my breakfast <laughs> and then I'm probably gonna walk another two miles so I don't have I can stay here as long as I can I've already paid for parking up to 12 midnight if I needed to although I got to go to work tomorrow um, yeah so I'm gonna head to that pier right now and it's a restaurant I have been in a while and hopefully it's still there and if it is I'll go check it out Redondo Beach Pier awesome soundtrack so here's an overhead view of the uh, pier. Look, El Torito, that's pretty good. And I filmed that before. Uh, the uh, pier goes away to the other side. I believe the restaurant I need to go to is on the other side of that, if I remember right. But I just wanna show you the overhead of the, the pier. There's a nice restaurant over there. Uh, but yeah, I gotta think I got to figure out how to get to the other side, so maybe I have to walk this way, okay. Okay, so I was eventually right. I, I still gotta go a ways, but look, I just walked this small area and I just had to stop and just film this for you boys and girls. Look how amazing this is. Isn't it awesome? Look at that. I could feel the ocean breeze in my arms and everything. Wow, oh, now now the wind's coming in, you see? Well, you can't see, but I'm, I'm telling you, if you're like staying right here, use, use this camera here as your eyes. You will be amazed. You feel the wind, just sea wind just blowing endlessly great day to be alive all right over there oh i didn't know they built a new skate park over here by right by the peak look at that how's es mr escore ever done that well i'm a longboarder and i can't even skate anymore because well you know my my calf injury but uh no i'm i'm not crazy wow but if you are into that um you can come to the skate park now on the other side of the pier, which I should visit more often, it just brings back so much memories. I would say this is the underground 
back side of the pier where they have the shops and the food and the, the everything you can get your hands on as far as you know merchandise you know of this beautiful wonderful beach of Rodondo Beach I like saying that and um, yeah they have all the boats right here you know it's, it's pretty cool uh, yachts and fishing boats and I'm just wow it's amazing look it's, it's, it's I wish I could live in a boat maybe I could be a pirate Arr! okay enough of that I believe it's right there or right there oh, okay let me find out where it's at okay before I get to that restaurant I'm so dying to go to you know I'm still having anything I'm not that hungry I guess um, I gotta stop because I gotta remember a very special place definitely in my life and my heart that place right there Oops. don't want to film it before. that place right there let me tell you all about it so I'll keep walking because this part is big here when I was a kid the best part of this whole entire pier was actually the backside where we're at right now because from non yonder all the way the room was just to the other side all the way to that corner right here was a huge arcade if I can find a picture on the internet I'll show you what it looked like and they had really crazy video games now remember I'm a product from the 80s you know you know so so I in the 80s you know, this was one of the best places to ever play an arcade game. I got learned how to play pinball here and and Pac-Man and all these games that I grew up on. And it's sad, but about 10 years ago, if, I don't remember the actual date, they closed it down. And um, so, but this spot right here. Now, your parents probably remember this spot here, boys and girls. So ask your parents if they remember the arcade at Redondo Beach. And, um... I think my spot is right over there. Let me check where I'm supposed to go to. Oyster bar. Ugh, I don't like oysters. Ugh. And here we are. The quality seafood. I do remember coming here when I was five years old for the very first time. Uh, my parents took me. I'm like, oh my gosh. They have seafood. You know, but the crazy thing is, right next to the actual restaurant, they have the fish market. In other words, you can buy fresh fish or lobster or whatever you like, and they cook it right for you right here in this spot. Or you just go to their menu. It's one of the most unique restaurants slash, I don't know, fish market I have ever been to. And there's plenty that I've been to since then, you know. That's a lobster right there. Ooh, <laughs> check that out. And they're just preparing the lobster. And um, yeah, this is the Santa Barbara crabs and they are alive, okay. <laughs> and um, so when I was a, a little kid, I used to go over here and just check out the lobsters and podrecito lobsters and the podrecito crabs, you know? And and then I'm like, oh. But then I, I, I would go over here and eat them. <laughs> savage no look at that amazing and I'm, I'm not kidding if you, they can go ahead and, and you, you can buy the ooh crawdads I'm serious crawdads look that's good I don't, I don't know about you guys that's that's pretty good so then you can buy uh, oysters you know like three dollars and fifty cents for an oyster over here or uh, uh, this type of oyster so they have all the oysters over here I do not 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 like ops, lo, lo, uh, oysters excuse me I do not eat that Ugh. Uh, but um, oh god hold on I gotta take a second over here okay look just to clarify this dude right here Mr. Escobar the, the awesome dude the all-around dude does not like does not like oysters please remember that okay mr. Escobar I'll take a minute for this whole entire video I don't really care you know I'll take the whole video five minutes if I have to so you will understand that this dude right here 
do not like oysters. You got that? No oysters. Okay, let's get back to uh, eating some seafood. Let's get to it right now. So this is the most unusual, you know, restaurant I would say because in the restaurant they have even more fresh seafood. Sixty-four dollars for that lobster tail. Look at that. You know, wow. And high end too. Look at that Alaskan salmon. Eighteen dollars. Look at that. Thirty-eight dollars for an Alaskan halibut fillet. And then let's see if I get that right. Let's see if I get that. They will make it for you right there on the spot. It's crazy. Just amazing. And so they got even more fresh fish. Like fresh, like fresh. Sea bream. You ever ate a sea bream before? No. What about a uh, red snapper? It's awesome. Way awesome. And over here, check this out. It's the live crab. Live crab. Awesome. Yeah, that's beautiful. And so I just remember this when I was a kid. Just come in here, just checking this out, you know? I, you know, just me. I was like, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Live crawfish. And then the mussels over here. You like shellfish? Amazing. And then, guess what? They'll make it for you for 25 bucks. Awesome. Really, really, really cool. All right, boys and girls. Honestly, I thought I was going to go to the uh, fixed uh, menu, but I'm going to do something crazy I've always wanted to do. You see that Alaskan hell, uh, halibut filet for $38.99? Um, I'm going to go for it, and I'm going to see if they can put some fries into it as well. They're going to, I told the, uh, the cook over here, I tell them to, to make it the best way you can, whatever it may be. I don't know if they're, don't tell me, you know, it could I don't think they're gonna fry it, but they're gonna—they're not gonna tell me. Just say, I said, I want one of those, and there he's gonna take it out right now. And uh, yeah, there's this that. What's your name, man? Brock. Huh? Brock. B R O C K. Brock. He's gonna hook me up. All right. Yeah. Okay. So not only am I gonna get an Alaskan halibut fillet, but I, that looks good too. Yeah. Go ahead. So look how much my meal is gonna cost. My gosh. But you know what? You only live twice, right? So. Right, that's that's my model, you know. And so that's right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Ooh, this is gonna cost me like sixty bucks or something, more than sixty, right? Forty-four. No more like eighty bucks. My gosh, with taxes and everything. And they gotta throw some fries on that. <laughs> All right. Okay, back outside. The two pieces of fish with French fries is sixty dollars and eighty-three cents. Now, um, I always do this, um, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm going to match that by donating. $60.83 to a local a food bank uh, near my area of Los Angeles. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm, so if you um, know that I'm really an advocate for everybody being fed, so I've always donated and I'm going to definitely donate that much. Anyways, let's see what it looks like. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm dying to know how would it taste like fresh halibut. Let's go get it. Okay, I had to go over there to get my Diet Coke. <laughs> it's so crazy, but I'm gonna talk fast because there's the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack and on the background there's, it's, it's wow, wow, it's, <laughs> anyways, it reminds me when I first came here, probably in 1976, 77, to on a rainy day, always on a rainy day for some reason, just chilling here and seeing what I can eat. Alaskan halibut, look at that. That's $38. Another halibut, look at that. With Cajun fries. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be gone by the time I say three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> all gone. Yeah, all gone. Okay, let me go outside because the music's playing, but it's all gone. Even my Diet Coke, gotta get some more. Should I get some more? No, 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 no. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going right now. Okay, back outside right now. And um, quality seafood, I'm telling you, it didn't disappoint me. A $60 
Alaskan halibut meal, $60 for the food bank, and just this guy right here, happy face. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, end this video properly. Goodbye, quality seafood. Until we meet again. Woo, that was good. It was good. Woo. Okay, so that was in dedication to one of my students who requested for me to come here. Um, shall, name, uh, name, shall remain nameless. They don't want to uh, say who they were who requested this video, but I hope you enjoy that one. Woo, man. Yeah, feeling good. I um, think I'm going to walk another three miles. It's a beautiful twilight of the day, and um, that's what I'm going to do to make it an even nine miles today. Um, all right, guys. Do one of these. Say hello to your parents. Say hello to your brothers and sisters. Say hello to your cousin twice removed. Say hello to your cousins, cousins, second cousins, twice removed, third cousin, dog sitter. And I say much love, okay? All right. Until the next one, boys and girls. All right, bye. All right, man, stop playing, man. There's always room for churros. Churros. Yeah, churros. Churros. Churros.